activity two, very similar. You're gonna do the three exercises again. Okay, dribble at the cone, use a scissor, get away, finish in one of the puck holes, drag, drag, and go. Dribble to the cone, drag, drag, go, finish in the puck hole. Okay, then the third one is the Ronaldo chop to finish in one of the puck holes. Okay, so a couple of things for this. Okay, you're gonna do each skill twice. Okay, after each round, you rest for a minute. It is a lot of rest in between. Okay, so hopefully when you get time to do the next skill or time to do the next rep, okay, you're fully rested and you can perform the skill as fast as you can, as best as you can. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the first skill again, okay, is the scissor. So again, you're doing this a lot faster than I am. So we do this twice. Okay, we get to the next skill. Okay, next skill being the drag, drag, and go. Okay, and then we get to the final skill. Okay, the final skill will be the Ronaldo chop. Okay, so those are the three skills you would do. Again, just a reminder, doing two skills, there are two, two rounds, one minute rest between before you change skills. Okay, just a couple of coaching points for you. Make sure you're dribbling at the defender as fast as you can, okay, with your toe inside the ball, using your laces for the outside of your foot. Once you make the skill, okay, be sure to explode and get away and try to finish in either of the pug goals as quick as you can. Okay, if you really want to challenge yourself, okay, you can make the distance bigger. If you have more distance, you can strike across your body into the furthest pug goal. If you don't have many goals like this, be creative, set up cones, use poles, use your garage, use your fence, do whatever you can. Okay? Thank you guys very much. Hope you have a great week.